Hey there, Beyonders. Welcome back to our next installment of the Year of the Inner Child. And today it is all about play. I mean, this feels right on time. We need to have play, especially if we've grown up in a childhood where we were growing up too fast, right? Because of the life experiences we were having, because of the abuse, we had to get mature real quick. And so we often cast aside playfulness and silliness and life gets very, very real and very, very serious. And I get it. I went through that process. I went through that journey myself. And here in our adult lives, as we're thinking about the lens of reparenting ourselves, reclaiming play is so important. I'm going to share some of the ways I played this weekend. Okay. Today, I create a new childhood. If I could have chosen my childhood, I would not have chosen the one I had. I have allowed myself to grieve the loss of what was rightfully mine. Now I must take a new direction, one that leads me away from the past. It is time for me to choose a new childhood. What did I long to do as a child? Take dance lessons, go to the amusement park and buy balloons and cotton candy, stare at the animals in the zoo, ride a merry-go-round. All the things I wanted to experience can now be part of my activities and memories. Maybe I'll even invite a friend who enjoys being a child to play with me. It is time to make happy memories for my inner child. Today, I will do at least one enjoyable thing that the child within me never had the freedom to do. Well, what a powerful invitation. Now, uh, over the years, I've uh, really, you know, become very playful and reclaimed that part of myself. And um, I love this quote, it's never too late to have a, a great childhood. And I really embrace that. I'm sorry, I don't know who said it. If you know who said it, let me know, put it in the comments. Uh, this weekend, I went to a magic show. Now, this is actually the third time I've been to see this person perform magic. I actually went to his first show twice. So I saw the same exact show twice and had the fun in the second show of like, oh, can I, can I catch any of the things that are happening and the sleight of hands and all of that? But mostly, again, just kind of suspending imagination. And magic is such a great place to do that. You get to be odd and inspired and what the what and how did he do that and it's just so much fun and uh at the intermission he said I'd like four people who are feeling lucky to come behind the curtain I have a little something that we're going to do together after the intermission so I got up and I went I said I'm not missing out on this I am doing it and so back there, he had us pick a dice. There were four of us. And so we each picked a dice with a number that we wanted. So there was a six, a six, a one, and a three. And I picked three, one of my favorite numbers. And so then after the intermission, he has us come up to this card table. And I sit down, uh, The two, a gentleman, a young, uh, I loved it. There was a gal there, a little, like maybe nine or 10-year-old. And she was all over it. And then a lady next to me, and then me. And he says, look, the odds that we're, everybody's going to hit their number everybody at the table is going to hit their numbers like one in 1300 so this is just you know for play it's just just to see it's just to be like what if what if what if he said i've been doing this every night for the show it never works it's okay it's not supposed to work but we're just going to imagine like what if it did and see if we can recapture a little bit of that feeling of one like really believing in something and two like being surprised by the miracle of something happening that you didn't think could the first guy rolls his dice, six. That was his number. And we all cheer and get so excited. Little girl rolls her dice, six. That was her number. The lady next to me, okay, is getting like, wow, is it really going to happen? Is it really going to happen? She rolls, she gets a one. That was her number. So it's all down to me. And the magician actually stands up from the table and he goes and he stands. Now, look, 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 like no pressure, no pressure. It's going to be okay. And I'm holding the dice, y'all. And I'm like the whole break also during intermission. Three, 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 three. I'm sitting at the table. I can do this. I can do this. And he says something. And I, and I didn't even quite clock totally what he said, but I just turned in and I said, I'm not going to miss. I am not going to miss. And I roll my dice. 
and it hits three. <laughs> cheers, the crowd cheers. Yo, that was wild. And uh, in that moment, I really clocked the internal sensation of full belief. No doubt, no what ifs, no anxieties, no future thinking, just presence, and I believe it. That is the beauty of childhood. That is the beauty of play. We're just in it. We're in the moment and we believe. It also takes me back to one of my favorite things in childhood when we would watch Peter Pan. Clap if you believe when it comes to getting Tinkerbell back to being okay. Maybe you've lost some of your believing. Life's been knocking it out of you. Believing in yourself, believing in possibilities, believing in love, believing in success, believing that you could just have a life that wasn't white knuckling it and struggling and just trying to get through the day. Play, play will help your believing. It'll help you tap back into that energy. It'll help you find that place where you can believe in yourself. And I know that your future can be different I know that your life can be different and that healing does not have to always be about struggle and pain and difficulty. It's in there. Stretching and growing is hard, but bring in the play. So again, the invitation this week, do at least one thing every day, right? That your inner child will enjoy. Give your inner child the freedom to play. All right, y'all. As always, I want to hear from you share, comment, share your questions. And until next time, take good care of you.